Hi, you are watching. In the previous chapter, Luchin narrowly avoided purchasing a problematic apartment thanks to a well-intentioned individual who warned him about its flaws. However, the situation took an unexpected turn, leading to Luchin being jumped by three dudes. Fortunately, Li Mohua, an agent from the country's National Security Bureau, intervened just in time, beat the heck out of these guys, and even sent them to jail for their suspicious business practices. Following this incident, Li Mohua straightforwardly approached Lu Chen with a proposition, asking him to assist them in the Empyrean God Realm, which Lu Chen was about to decline, but since they offered a 30 discount for any villa he wants, and the promise to safeguard him and his family's privacy, Lu Chen agreed to collaborate with Li Mohua and his team. Once the favor was settled, Lu Chen resumed his gaming endeavors, achieving another level up along with acquiring a unique piece of equipment. To his surprise, the item gained considerable popularity and fetched nearly 100,000 yuan when sold, bringing delight to Lu Chen. But despite contemplating its use, he decided to hold onto it for a future occasion and just continue playing. With his focus now on fusing with the bloodline of the three petal flower monster, Lu Chen expanded his field of vision by an impressive 400 meters and gained immunity to low level charms. With this, he noticed a hidden area just sitting in front of him, consequently sparking his curiosity, and so he didn't think twice to enter the mysterious place. Now on to the next part. Surprisingly, as he prepared to continue, a tablet appeared before him, revealing information about what lay beyond the mist. This place is called the Lost Eden, inhabited by roaming monsters, and the path that only leads to destruction, so it is advised not to enter because as soon as someone does, the Garden of Eden wouldn't stop expanding its territory until the eight formation eyes are still standing tall, which would normally deter a normal player from venturing further. But unfortunately, Luchin isn't a normal player, so he continued to venture beyond the mist. Consequently, a server-wide warning was issued immediately, informing everyone that the player only on Wild had activated the Lost Eden server-wide task called Resist the Invasion. This shocked every player across servers, and looking at the title of the task, they couldn't help but feel an ominous vibe, so they all wonder what the f*** is Wild doing to cause such trouble, but they didn't have to wonder for long. As another system interface popped up, informing them that this event is a level 20 server-wide task, in which an unknown mist on the east side of the server was activated, and it is spreading rapidly, and this is a significant issue because the mist enhances the strength of wild monsters while weakening human attacks, abilities, and skill effects. Additionally, it permanently corrodes equipment, reducing equipment durability limits that cannot be repaired, and it slows down mana recovery speed as well. To prevent this, they have to destroy the eight formation eyes and lost Eden as soon as possible. If completed, the one who destroys the formation eye can get a special reward, and the whole server will get double experience for 10 hours. With this, some players were in a panic, wondering how the hell could they even clear a level 20 task, and if this could also mean that Wild is already level 20, to which another player clarified that it would be impossible for someone to reach that level that fast. And the only reason the task is set at level 20 is because it's a server-wide task, increasing the difficulty level. Now that this was clarified, the only problem they had was not knowing where Lost Eden is located. To their surprise, even before they could do anything, another system interface popped up, notifying them that due to the server-wide task, all servers would be temporarily merged into one server, so all players would be forced to log off in 2 minutes, and the merger would last 15 minutes, so they just had to be patient and wait before they could start this task. With this, the players were excited, as this could be their chance to expand their reputation and get tons of rewards. Not only that, all the players would be in the same server, allowing them to join forces with others to double their overall power and easily complete the task. And with 15 minutes of prep time, they could find the necessary people to make this plan a reality. So, everyone did just that, even Feng Lingji and her friends allied with other guilds, which welcomed her openly, believing that with her influence, most of the players would surely join their temporary alliance. And while everyone was trying to expand their manpower, Lu Chen, on the other hand, was cursing at the system for broadcasting everything. He wanted to keep a low profile, but the system wouldn't allow it. But since he couldn't do anything about it, he decided to let it be and focus on what lay ahead. And just as the system had announced, the mist had completely mutated the werewolves, making them appear much stronger than before. What was even more shocking was that their levels had also grown exponentially, so it seemed that clearing this mist wasn't as easy as he had initially thought. 
However, before he could consider a tactical retreat, a sudden realization struck him. Instantly changing his mind, he remembered that he was a wild monster as well. And if the werewolves were mutated, so was he. And as expected, he and some of his subordinates had mutated into more frightening creatures than ever before. And Luchin couldn't help but notice the immense power flowing inside him. With this, it was evident that his attributes had doubled, so he was more than delighted with this outcome. And the fact that the power-up was also stable, was more than he could ask for. Fifteen minutes later, the server had reopened, and so Luchin didn't hesitate to put on his VR helmet login immediately, as he was excited, because in the temporary merged area, with so many players put together, the level 10 main city should be spectacular, but since he is a monster, the only way he could see it is by going to Feng Lingji's live stream, and so he went straight to her channel. And just as he expected, at the level 10 main city, Stormwind, the players had gathered like ants. It was even more crowded than the previous novice village. In addition, there is no novice protection for those above level 10, but they shouldn't worry about team fights breaking out soon, since everyone is focused on looking for the lost Garden of Eden. But even still, Feng Lingji couldn't shake the feeling of fear, since she had just recently changed jobs, and being an exorcist without any summons yet, really makes her an easy target, and the fact that everyone is on a single server isn't helping either. But Lu Chin on the other hand couldn't help feeling fortunate to be a wild monster, since he wouldn't have to deal with what they are dealing with right now, and it is estimated that it will take them some time to find the entrance to the Lost Garden of Eden, so it is better for him to seize the opportunity to hunt more monsters before other players join the battle. With this plan in mind, he and his subordinates initiated a rampage against the mutated monsters, and they are planning on taking a rest, as they swiftly move to the next opponent after delivering the final blow on the poor f and this tactic turned out to be more profitable than Luchin had anticipated, because with each kill, he received three times the usual amount, and the drop rate was so high that upgrade materials had a 100% chance to drop, along with different equipment parts. With this, Luchin couldn't help but smile as he continued to amass wealth by the minute, and the fact that another stupidly terrifying boss monster appeared before him, just made him all excited, since he knows all too well this bitch going to drop some thick ass loot. And just as he anticipated, after effortlessly defeating the level 17 mutant boss monster, it not only rewarded him with 5-star upgrade materials but also provided equipment. One such item was a green level 15 wolf king claw, boasting a maximum attack power of 38, powerful additional attributes, a 30% increase in critical hit chance, and a 10% increase in critical damage. Additionally, he obtained a green level 15 netherworld iron ring, boosting his attack power by 18 and increases his critical chance by 4%, which really excited Lu Chen, and so he didn't hesitate to put them on immediately, and test them out, which it didn't disappoint, showcasing the explosive increase in critical hit power, allowing him to effortlessly break through any obstacle, and this weapon could also be retracted at will, so he was more than happy of the results, and so he decided to make this his main weapon and auction his previous one. To his surprise, upon opening the auction menu, he didn't expect to see that the prices of all the equipment had increased, but this development might be because of the server-wide mission, as everyone now needed more equipment, but he ain't complaining though, especially since he was planning to sell his old weapon. And being the opportunistic player that he is, Lucha knew not to waste this chance to earn more money, thus, he continued his grind with his team, more determined and vigorous than ever before. But because of this, with just a few hours later, the players noticed the equipment auctioned by only M. Wild originated from a silver wolf. With this, they speculated that the hidden entrance to the Garden of Eden was near the location of the silver wolves. So, they gathered in groups and conducted a thorough search, hoping to discover the entrance. Fortunately, their efforts paid off when one of them noticed the displaced fog near some trees. So without hesitations, they approached it. In response, the fog suddenly accelerated as if pulling them in, as the southeast side of the formation I area had opened for the players, which they didn't hesitate to enter, as this was their time shine and be the first to conquer the Garden of Eden. Meanwhile, on the other side of the hidden area, Luchin arrived at the location of the southeastern eye of the Eight Formation. There, a pillar covered in flames greeted his eyes with a magnificent display of unknown power. However, Luchin wasn't there to sightsee. His mission was to destroy the formation, but seeing how the pillar emitted a powerful aura, he knew it wouldn't be an easy task, and being the smartass that he was, he decided not to charge in blindly. Instead, 
he commanded one of his minions to attack it. Without hesitation, his subordinates charged in. But as the Banshee approached the pillar, a level 20 remnant soul of the evil wolf Hattie materialized from thin air to intercept it, violently swinging its rod to the Banshee, dealing a great amount of damage in which Lu Chen was even dumbfounded to witness. He couldn't believe that a single attack from it could deduct half of his subordinates' health points. With this, he commanded all his subordinates to back off as he would be the one to face it. However, things weren't going as he wanted it to be, because even with his 500 attack power, he couldn't break the boss's defense. To make matters worse, this formidable foe had 100,000 health points. With this, he experienced what other players must have felt when battling him. Still, Lu Chen refused to believe that the boss had no weaknesses, so he analyzed the boss. Judging from its enormous attack and health, its mana defense might be low, or better yet, it is non-existent. With this insight, he concluded that using mana attacks would be the most effective way to defeat it. And therefore he told his subordinates that this time they are really going to fight a tough battle, so they should prepare themselves for a long and grindy evening, since they will grind this motherfucker all night. After that speech, Lu Chen released his load to wrap the monster's arm, in order for his subordinates to freely attack it. But as he just said, this boss was built different, breaking off its binds easily. Nevertheless, they composed themselves, positioning the wolves in the front lines while having the banshees use magic to attack from afar. Even Luchin was using his signature back shot, and with this tactical approach, after an hour had passed, the boss was nearing its demise. Yet Luchin remained cautious, aware that overconfidence could be their downfall, and he will never permit them to be caught lacking like that and so he reminds his subordinates to focus, stand their ground and avoid getting carried away. There was no room for mistakes. Meanwhile, on the human player's side, everyone who was logged in had entered the hidden area, including Li Mohua and his guildmates. However, they all faced a common problem. The mutated monsters were challenging to defeat, and the negative effects of the mist greatly increased the difficulty, as it rapidly decreased their equipment durability and significantly weakening them so it became evident to the players the severity of this mist's potential, leading the players to ponder what might happen if the mist spread to the main city. But despite these concerns, they knew that dwelling on the potential consequences wouldn't be helpful, so they just focused on finding the formation and destroy it. To their surprise, they don't have to worry about it anymore, as another global notification popped up above them, announcing that the player only on Wild had successfully destroyed the Southeast Eye formation and earned the title top one. The revelation shocked every player who witnessed it, as they couldn't believe that one person could single-handedly destroy a level 20 formation. Meanwhile, on Lu Chen's side, the area showed unmistakable marks of intense conflict, and the once mighty boss now lay slumped against the broken pillar. Regrettably, even among Lu Chen's loyal subordinates, some had met their demise, while Lu Chen himself was the only one standing, his fatigue evident as he gasped for breath. Nonetheless, he felt a sense of satisfaction, Knowing that his efforts were not in vain, he eagerly looked forward to discovering the rewards he would receive after completing this nearly impossible task. Hit that like button and thanks for watching.